In Austria, technicians check the welding on pipes for a hydropower plant. Over in Indonesia, spices are being cleared of biological contaminants. In Budapest, pharmaceuticals are being created. And operators run a Chinese power plant that provides electricity to thousands of homes. These are common activities, taking place every day in many parts of the world. They rely on nuclear technologies that use radioactive materials. The benefits of these technologies, whether used in agriculture, industry or medicine, are plentiful. Like other processes, they generate waste. This waste contains radioactive elements. People and the environment must be protected from the potential hazards of such waste, now and in the future. So countries need to manage their radioactive waste safely and securely, and make sure it's kept under control. This responsibility starts as soon as a country decides to use nuclear technologies. And techniques are available to manage radioactive waste. Radioactive elements are unstable and emit radiation as they decay. The decay rate is measured in half-lives. This means the time it takes for the activity of a radionuclide to halve. After another half-life period, the activity is again down by half. This continues, and eventually the material emits only negligible amounts of ionizing radiation. Each radionuclide has its own half-life. So waste can be hazardous for periods of time stretching from a few hours or days up to hundreds of thousands of years. Radioactive waste is classified depending on the half-lives and the level of radioactivity of the nuclides it contains. According to the IAEA's safety standards, there are six classes of radioactive waste. Each waste class has different management and disposal needs. Techniques exist to manage this radioactive waste and the spent nuclear fuel from power plants and research reactors in a safe and secure way. Waste containing only radionuclides with very short half-lives can be stored for a few days or years to allow for the decay of the nuclides. This type of waste is usually generated when radioactive materials are used for research or medical purposes. Eventually, it can be disposed of as conventional waste. Other waste forms need to be managed for radioactive waste disposal. By volume, most radioactive waste has low levels of radioactivity. This includes the majority of the waste that comes from the routine operation of a nuclear power plant. And waste that's produced when medical and industrial devices that use radioactive sources are no longer needed. This could be because the source has decayed and the remaining radioactivity isn't strong enough for its original purpose. Or the device is damaged or obsolete. In these cases, the radioactive source needs to be removed from the equipment and prepared for storage and eventual disposal. Some countries process their waste at centralized waste management and storage facilities. Upon arrival, the waste is controlled to check for any surface contamination and the radiation levels are measured. Details of the waste type are noted for the inventory before the waste can be processed further to prepare it for storage and disposal. Such processes can involve measures to reduce the volume of the waste, such as compaction and incineration. Encapsulation is used to immobilize the contaminants. After being placed in appropriate containers, the waste is stored. 
It will remain in this kind of facility until a suitable place or system for its disposal is established. Many countries already have near-surface disposal sites for waste with low levels of radioactivity. These facilities can consist of silos in the ground, trenches or vaults. Once they're full, they will be backfilled with grout or soil, sealed and closed according to their disposal license. Alongside the radioactive waste produced by the routine activities at a nuclear power plant, nuclear power generation produces spent fuel or high-level waste. Such waste is low in volume but has a high level of radioactivity and it remains hazardous for thousands of years. In some countries, the spent nuclear fuel that can no longer be used to generate electricity is reprocessed to extract usable material for new fuel. Other countries consider the spent fuel as waste for direct disposal. In all countries generating nuclear power, the spent fuel is currently stored either in water pools or dry casks at secure storage facilities. Waste management experts around the world agree that underground geological disposal is the best and preferred option as a solution for high-level waste and spent nuclear fuel. This would be in a location where geological conditions are stable and the waste can be contained and isolated from humans and the environment until it no longer presents a hazard. While there's still no geological disposal facility of this type in operation, some countries have already selected a location, designed the facility and conducted safety assessments. A few, for example, Sweden, Finland and France, are well advanced in their development. Radioactive waste with low and intermediate levels of activity is already being disposed of in geological facilities in several countries. Since its inception, the IAEA has assisted its member states to safely manage their radioactive waste. The IAEA produces internationally respected safety standards and offers technical guidance. At its headquarters in Vienna, Austria, the IAEA hosts meetings and workshops, bringing together experts from around the world to exchange experiences. International teams, led by the IAEA, review security measures at waste storage facilities. The IAEA also helps countries to securely store high activity sources in advance of disposal. Its experts run training courses in radioactive waste management and conduct missions worldwide to assist with the conditioning of disused, sealed radioactive sources. Its safeguards inspectors make sure that all nuclear material, including spent nuclear fuel, is accounted for and used solely for peaceful purposes. As populations grow and nations develop, we'll be making more use of nuclear technologies. This will result in more radioactive waste. And more waste means more needs to be done to meet the challenges. With the technologies now available, the new developments in the pipeline and the continuous support of the IAEA, countries are well equipped to manage radioactive waste safely and securely. <laughs>